Squirt, squirt up on that scene. Hop out engine looking clean. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here, and I'm back from another episode of, well, this is kind of Poison Thoughts. This is also kind of a Payday 2 video. This is in reference to Payday 2 being released on um, Steam. To the, not Steam, Switch, my bad. It's already been on Steam since it first released. Um, so today is Monday, February 26th, um, 2018. Payday 2 on Switch is coming out, I guess, in probably six hours, you know, five and a half hours, if not tomorrow morning, whenever your store is doing its release, whether it's a midnight release or during the day. So yeah, one day ahead of Payday 2 being released on Switch. And today I'm just here to talk about why I'm not going to be purchasing the game for a while. So let's like hop into this. Let's give some background onto me and Payday 2. So I have about, let's see, I have almost 1400 hours on PC, maybe 500 hours on PS3, um, so I know a lot about Payday 2, I play mainly solo, I don't really play with other people, which we'll talk about also later on, because, you know, that does have to affect the game. Um, on the PS3 side of it, I've probably spent about 40-ish dollars on the game, uh, I bought the game on sale from GameStop, it's like, jeez, back 2014, and then I spent maybe like 15 to 20 on the DLC, the only three DLC packs that came out on PS3, so, yeah, it's probably like 40-ish dollars at most. Um, on the PC side, I've spent $164.21 for the game and DLC. Um, most DLC was bought during the game sale, whenever it had a sale, which is quite often. The game has sales quite often, too. Um, you know, I bought the game on sale, but most of the DLC that happened after sales, as soon as I was caught up with the game, I would buy DLC the day they released. Um, you know, just because I enjoy the game. Like I said, I have almost 1,400 hours. It's a good game I really enjoy. And it coming to the Switch is kind of cool. I've also spent $22.50 on drills. I've never bought safes, but I have bought drills. Um, not all $22.50 came out of my actual money. It either came out of money from YouTube or it came from selling stuff on Steam and being like, oh, well, I guess I'll buy a drill here. So let's get into it. Pity 2 on Switch. I'm kind of happy for it, but I'm kind of not really, you know. Um, we'll talk about it more. I have like a list of things to talk about. Um, first things first. The game only costs fifty dollars instead of sixty, like most versions. Um, you know that's still not a lot of money, but me personally, I'm gonna wait till the game drops to like forty or less dollars. I know coming eventually the game will be put on sale. I know it, so I'm really in no rush to be purchasing the game right now. I'll just wait for a sale to come and then I'll pick it up. Um, I'm saying fifty dollars isn't bad. Um, you're getting quite a bit of DLC too. You're getting a lot of things in it. Uh, we'll talk about that more as well. But just right now, currently. Standing right here as of 6 35 p.m. the day before it releases i'm not gonna spend 50 dollars on the game i've already spent way too much on other versions like i'm saying 40 or even less definitely gonna pick it up at that price point you know i'll find the money when it that does get on sale um second thing the version or payday 2 on switch is the least updated version out of every version that's been released except for ps3 and xbox 360 those versions have only been updated like a small handful of times but when it comes to ps4 and xbox one this is the least updated version um obviously this game is going to be um less updated than um the pc but it's kind of sad that the game is falling behind ps4 and xbox one um it's been announced or they've had it in development for a year i believe now i'm not really sure um i'm also going to leave two videos down below um a review by ign which is kind of meh and a review that was done by a channel named who did this review it's i believe it was nintendo life they did an actual good review and that's where i'm getting most of my information from i read multiple reviews on this game as well just reading them and everything seems to be coming out the same um let's see the review was actually by nintendo life i want to say yeah nintendo life so i'll leave a link to both reviews down below go give them a watch um kind of sucks because you know oh we'll talk about more actually i just realized how my uh setup is we'll talk about it later on too um third thing a lot of pe a lot of reviewers are giving this a huge negative that the game has no voice chat now you know that doesn't affect me i play solo anyways um it does affect when you play with randoms but if you play with friends you have ways of calling your friends you could either call them discord Facebook, whatever. There's always ways of talking with your friends if you guys actually know each other. If you're playing this game online with randoms, then yes, that's going to be a huge problem. You can't contact them. And this game does need communication unless, once again, you're playing solo. Um, but every reviewer just gives that a negative. And I understand, you know, not even the Nintendo Switch app works for voice chat. But 
that's only available for um, Splatoon 2. You know, pay 2 doesn't work for it, but I don't really care. doesn't affect me whatsoever. Once again, I play solo, and I'm going to play solo because I'm mainly going to play this when I'm out of when I'm out of my house and I'm like working and there's like no internet nearby. Um, another thing that people give positives about the game though, it has to be the stupidest, most retarded gimmick ever. And that's HD Rumble. Now, if you like HD Rumble, I'm not calling it retarded. I'm just saying it's stupid how they keep giving this positives for this stupid little thing. HD Rumble is not a game seller. Everything I've ever seen about this game, trailers, people talk about, oh, HD Rumble, oh, HD Rumble. HD Rumble does not mean a thing to me. And if there's a way to shut off HD Rumble, I will definitely be doing it when I play the game. Because seriously, the fact that your controller rumbles more hard or more realistic than other competitors has to be the stupidest fucking gimmick in the world. And I really don't care. This is what leads into Poison Dots. Because I really don't give a fuck what I say. Really, HD Rumble is not a game seller. It's a stupid fucking gimmick. I'm not a fucking child. I don't care for HD Rumble. Once again, if you like it, I'm not necessarily talking shit about you. I'm more talking shit about, you know, creators who say, oh, this is a big thing that's going to sell the game. I really don't care for it. It's not that fucking impressive. It's whatever. I don't really give a shit. Uh, fourth point. So, kind of good, kind of negative, you know, it's both in this little point. I have like eight points to make, but um, yeah. Point number four. Apparently, the Switch version of Payday 2 has the same amount of weapons on consoles. So, I think that's like 150 weapons. I'm not sure... I don't know how updated the um, Switch version is or how updated, um, you know, the PS4, Xbox One versions are, but there's they each have the same amount of weapons. Um, I think PC has more weapons, but, you know, once again, the PC is always going to be more ahead on this game um, just because that's just the way it is. PC is always, you know, when it comes to this game specifically, PC is always put ahead of PS4 and Xbox One, but across all consoles, it, once again, or excluding PS3 and Xbox 360, but the PS4 and Xbox One, all versions of the game have the same amount of weapons, but the Switch version of Payday 2 has 20 less masks than the other versions, and it has 8 less heists. So, as where Payday 2 on PS4 and Xbox has 300 masks, the Switch version only has 280, and where the PS4 slash Xbox One have um, 58 heists, the Switch only has 50 heists. Not really that big, not really that bad, but... Seeing as how they all have the same weapons, they should have all the same characters and everything, except for Joy. Um, that's a big positive. I do like that. Um, number five. Payday 2 is, or the Switch version is missing about a year's worth of DLC. Um, yeah, it's, like I saying, it's the least updated version across all consoles. Um, you know, a year's worth of content is a pretty big thing. Even though this game doesn't release that much updates or that much content, it's still pretty significant that, you know, it, it, it's a year behind. Um, the only thing the Switch has going for it is HD Rumble, which, once again, I don't really care for, and Joy, and her weapons. But, once again, Joy was, when she was announced, they were also announcing that Joy will be coming to every other version eventually. It's just right now she's a timed exclusive only for the Switch. Kind of cool, but kind of meh. Yeah, it's only missing a year's worth of content, but Joy, cool addition. Um, I don't really care for the character. I mean, Joy is cool and all, you know, Japanese hacker. But, if you guys see my Payday 2 videos, you know I'm a big fan of Jacket. And Jacket is in the game, so I have my favorite character, and Soul Kill's in the game, so I should have my favorite perk deck as well, Grinder. So, you know, everything should be good. The only problem is I'm going to have to get used to using a controller once again, because I've been playing Payday 2 since 2015, 2014 on PC, and, you know, after three to four years of mouse and keyboard... I can't play with a controller, I just have to train myself again. Thankfully, the Switch Pro Controller is a great controller, and I really do love it. Moving on. The game is only capped at 30 frames, so that's meh, whatever. I don't really care, you know, I've gone from playing console my whole life to going to PC, and yeah, having better frame rate is good, but if the game is steady with its frame rate, where it's constantly 30 and it runs good, doesn't really matter what the frame rate is, as long as it's constantly at the same frame rate. Um, there are some heavy, intense moments in, you know, the game where even here on PC, this heist, the, um, safe house raid, still, it dips when it comes to frame rate. It doesn't hold a steady frames. Um, you can see in the bottom left corner how much frame rate it has. Not really the best. Um, but another thing is on, uh, tape or on TV mode, the game runs at 1080p, but there's some problems where some heists will drop down to 720p. Or, you know, it depends on how intense the action is. Um, 
in tablet mode, it's stock 720. You can't reach 1080. That's just because the screen is capped at 720. Um, speaking of the screen, uh, the game has, you know, it's touchscreen capable, but it's only touchscreen capable in tablet mode, and it's only for, like, interacting with the menu. So, like, crime net or switching out your weapons, you can use touchscreen, but once again, only available in, you know, tablet mode. Um, you know, one of the reviews, or the Nintendo Life review talked about how the game actually runs a little bit better, you know, since, like, it's going to be stuck at 720 anyways, that the tablet mode is still a good pl way to play it. Um, still going to give you good graphics, especially with, you know, how it dips every once in a while. And, um, last point, like I've said, yeah, you know, the game, I'm super happy to get it. I do have a Switch. I love my Switch. Um, I don't play it that often because I don't really have games for it, but I will be picking up this game eventually. Um, there's a lot of Switch games I want to pick up. You know, I'm a huge fan of Payday 2. Being able to play it on the go is cool. Um, don't really care for HD Rumble. But just as of the current moment, with it sitting at $50, and, like, I'm not expecting to pay less because of how much I've already spent. You know, I'm not trying to be entitled. But just right now, $50 for a game that's, you know, still behind other versions that have already been out, it kind of sucks. It's not really worth it for me right now. Um, I still would love to get it later, and I would still love to do videos on it. It's just... For the next, like, month or two, you're probably not going to see any videos. Who knows? In, like, two months when I start working again, I'll probably just say fuck it and buy it anyways. But just right now, how I'm currently sitting, I'm going to have to give it a pass. I do have high hopes for it, and I'm really hoping that Overkill does good with it. I'm hoping they actually make this game, you know, as good as the PC. It's just right now, a year, you know, a year behind and still, you know, on a new kind of system, kind of hesitant. I want to see more people get the game. I want to see more gameplay of it. I don't want to see professionals play it with professional equipment. I want some random 14-year-old with, like, a cheap Elgato to play it just so I could see how it runs. Just to be like, all right, this is worth it or it's not worth it. I'm saying, I love Payday 2. I'll end up buying it eventually anyways because, like I said, I do want to do content on it. I do want to play the game. Plus, I do work a lot where I'm not at home. And having the Switch with me where I could play this game I love, it's a huge plus. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to let you guys know that, yeah. There's not going to be any Payday 2 on Switch content coming anytime soon. I'm still going to be doing my other Payday 2 stuff, you know, on PC, and we're going to see how that goes. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Payday 2 on Switch. Um, I'm saying this is going out the day it comes out on Switch. So, you know, if you have any experience with it, let me know if it's a good game, if it's not good. I genuinely want to know how people feel about this game because I'm saying I'm a huge fan. Really happy for it. Really hoping it does well. It's just right now, I'm pretty skeptical, especially after hearing what it's lacking and everything. So, yeah. Have an awesome day. Hopefully, you guys enjoy my other content. If you are a regular on the channel, I still have Mafia 2 coming out later today. So, until then, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.